Good day, everybody. It's 921. It's April the 29th. We see this time is going by very quickly here, don't we? This is for any new subscribers. Now, I took this photo when I was 17 years old in 1977. Now, I know many of you have heard this before many times. Especially the scoffers, because they stick around. They just stick around no matter what. They complain, but they stick around. And they don't dare talk about this, because they know that angel above my head. See, they've had their rear ends whipped already. That's why they're down here on the earth right now. They're not found in the heavens anymore. Okay? Now, if you look at the end of that trumpet right there... The spirits above my head, now there's a trumpet. At the end of that trumpet on the paneling board is a white horse with a little clock. Time's up, you guys. That bathtub, that means you better have the blood of Christ on you. It's the only way you're going to be found without spot or blemish. There's nothing that you can do. Only through the blood of Christ are we going to be saved through what's about to happen. Only through the blood of Christ. <clears throat> I'm still rolling here. I'm still moving around. Thank God for that. I'm able to warn people. Whether that door is shut or not, I'm still warning people. So at least they'll know what happened and why it happened. And then they'll have to make a choice whether they choose to follow God or follow what's soon going to be destroyed here in this world. Nothing will survive it. Well, as I was cashing out at the register at Cracker Barrel here, um, had this lady in front of me. It was a guy. Or well, it's a lady, but looking like a guy. Haircut like a guy, dressing like a guy. <coughs> Homosexuals, perverted. Perversion. Okay, that's what they are. It's perversion. And, uh... I shared with a couple of the waitresses in there, showed them, told them, and I noticed some people sitting over there kind of smiling, thinking it was funny. They won't think it's funny here pretty soon, because time's about up. Things, Something's getting ready to happen. And uh, I shared with the uh, people as I was coming out of the register, and I told them, I said, you know, people, when you've accepted this perverted lifestyle, I said, I promise you, these homosexuals be perversion people, they got demons in them. They don't care that they damned you. They don't care because they're getting what they want. And that's to have that perverted lifestyle, even though they don't understand. Remember Matthew's 12.10. It says the wicked will continue doing wickedly and they won't understand. Well, my job has been is to go around and let people know that are ignorant it says many are willingly ignorant because they don't have the truth in them. They don't know or anything about God or have love for him. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. They know nothing about him. And that includes many of the churches. <clears throat> They've been talking. Well, I mean, look at the churches, man. They accept this perverted lifestyle, man. It's written in the word of God. As in the days of Noah, they'd come back and destroy it. You know, and now they're accepting it in there, so you know they don't know what's written in the Word of God. This whole book is nothing but a, a... It tells you only how to please God. And it tells you what happens when you turn away from God. When you stop following Him and His ways and the things that He's telling you, you're damned and you don't even know it. One of my last dreams that I had... I found it right here in Isaiah, chapter 26, verse 20, 21. Okay, and I heard his indignation. And I also seen what's coming here. About a week and a half ago, I had that dream where death is on its way. Death. This is a spirit that's coming in here, and it's going to be killing people, dismembering them. Okay, i seen this in my dream. So this is what's at hand. This is what's about to happen. But uh, this one right here where it says, people say they can't understand where rapture's in there and all that. Well, most people can't understand right here, Isaiah 26, where he says, come. Just a simple letter. Come. 
Sounds like he's calling you, ain't he? Come. Now, when he says come, he says enter into thy chambers because he's coming down to, to punish the inhabitants of the earth. So you see, you're already been called off the earth. That's what that means. Come. Okay, that's the calling away. Rapture. You know, they want to argue with you about these things, but there's many, many passages in here where that, where he's calling you. You know, you guys called somebody before that you see, and you said, hey, come over here. And they came over, didn't they? That's calling away. That's calling somebody. Well, when God says come, you can be sure we're going to be pulled to him like a magnet. Like a magnet. Because, see, we're desiring to be with him. We are. Those that see what's going on. The wise. Okay? Because Daniel's 12.10 says, The wicked will continue doing wickedly, and they won't understand. That's like the scoffers coming against me right now. Scoffers, a lot of them are probably perverted, homosexuals, you know what I mean? Um, they don't understand what they're doing. Okay? It's the spirits that are in them. I don't hate these people. But I don't have any love for him either. Why should I love something that's an abomination to God? Those aren't my brothers and sisters. My brothers and sisters do the will of God, not the will of the devil. Remember what Jesus said to a lot of those people out there? You're the, you're the children of the devil. That's why you can't hear me. That's why you can't understand me. Because you're the children of the devil. Your father is the devil. Come, my people. Enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as if it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. See, things are being revealed to us, not to them. Now, you heard where he says, the Lord comes down with his indignation. There's a guy right there that thought everything I was saying was funny, but he won't hear soon. Behold, the name of the Lord cometh from afar, burning with his anger, and burden thereof is heavy on his lips, full of indignation, and his tongue as a devouring fire. You guys, I've always told you I'm not here to tickle ears. Never, never. Because I won't have anybody saying that they didn't hear the straight truth from me. And I'm here to tell you, man, this is up. This is over. Most people won't even, like this guy leaving right now thinks it's a joke. He won't think it's a joke here pretty soon. He's going to be, wish, he heard what I said. But see, there's many people like that. They think it's all a joke, like this is going to go on and on and on. They can't see what's happening because it says the wicked will continue doing wickedly. <clears throat> Not to mention many people are under strong delusion right now. Many. Anyhow, it's Saturday, you guys. I'm heading down the road. <clears throat> I'm telling you, man, when I'm driving with this right here, these chemicals, it's a big tub full of chemicals. Uh, 25, almost 2,600 pounds. When you're driving around with that much liquid like that, let me tell you, it feels like you're on a boat. You know, because when that liquid rocks like that, you feel like you're on a boat. You know, I know, because I've worked on a uh, tuna fishing boat for in, two, in uh, Hawaii, South Pacific, for yellowfin. But uh, that's exactly what it feels like, like you're on a boat. You gotta really drive slow real slow with this taking off and um, keep lots of distance between you and everybody out there because when you slow down here you I mean you can't go like everybody else is going it's too much weight you know too much weight I got it all tied down but like I said when you can feel the liquid moving like this where you think it feels like you're on a boat on water that's because of all that water I'm carrying or it's chemicals but nonetheless, you guys, I try to warn people constantly, and uh, many people are not going to accept our message, you guys. They're just not going to accept it. It's just that simple. It's not that simple. It's aggravating, actually. Um, 
but I do what I do and I'm not gonna stop and uh, I know what I'm talking about I know what my message is my message is to warn people so when I find people wanting to come up here and question and go against what I'm saying I have to block them immediately because many of them are the scoffers they just come in with different names I'm fully aware of what they're doing and who they are you know fully aware and uh, and if they can't see that angel above my head most of those scoffers if you notice they won't say nothing about that they stay clear away from that and they'll try to create any kind of confusion or division that they can create you know stop and think about it man even when uh, they destroyed my business blacklisted me stopped my phone from ringing and uh, then they were calling me a bum because people were helping me to work, keep me out there doing what I was doing. They were calling me a bum. I sold everything I had, too, to do what I've been doing. And then uh, saying I'm a liar, I'm a hustler, I'm a con. And then when I get a job that provides me to travel, continue doing what I'm doing, then they call my job trying to get me fired. You see what I'm saying? That's just pure evil. That's all they are, is pure evil. Just know who they are. And a lot of times they're gonna make comments to some of you guys that are making comments to me. I highly recommend, cause see, I can't see them at all. I can only hear your response to them. That's the only thing I can see. And I monitor everything on this channel, everything. Um, so I, I recommend to you guys, please do not make any conversations with them. You know, and if you if you're curious and you want to find out, um, then you know find out how to do it through their channels and go through their. You can watch their videos. They're making against me if you like. Um, it's all demonic. That's all I can tell you. It's all demonic. I don't recommend that you do it, but uh, they're out there. There's many videos out there against me, which. I don't care. I've had people say that they found my channel because of it. But uh, the word of God says in the in the last days, um, these mockers, scoffers, they're going to come in the last days. So we're in the last days. Make no doubt about it. Okay? Something's getting ready to happen. We're getting ready to go. The thing that aggravates me is so many people willingly ignorant to accept all this perversion and this evil. Uh, I heard they're even lower in the age of uh, uh, child rape or whatever from 16 down to 12 or something. I don't know, man, but it's it's wickedness. It's evil. These people don't realize what they're doing. Um, and it's just going to get worse, you guys. Anyhow, God bless you guys. I love each and every one of you. Remember what I said. Um, be careful. I, I highly recommend you don't have nothing to do with these scoffers at all and uh, just uh, be careful you guys we're getting ready to go I can feel it not only that all my dreams that I've had of the times that are hand like where he said come and I've seen where I changed to a spirit and was taken away these things are all at hand right now we're getting ready to go okay just know that we're getting ready to go Daniel's 12, that helps a lot knowing in these times the things that we see and how they don't seem like nothing's going on, nothing's changed to them, all right? Even though things are getting more worse, more wicked, um, the sky, you can hardly even see through it right now, but uh, it's going to be rolled back like a scroll, and when it is, people are going to, their hearts will be failing them for the things they're going to be seeing going to be right upon you man and they don't want you to see it okay there you can be sure you can be sure they're afraid they're highly afraid but a lot of those people don't understand what's happening they just believe what they're being told they're being prepped to fight against an alien race when it's God it's God and the holy angels that are coming and they're getting and the word of God says it that they're going to we've known it from the beginning we should be rolling out a carpet for him, you know, welcoming him. Instead, people here are following the devil. God bless you guys. I love each and every one of you, man. Look up for our redemption draws near.